Alrighty guys, welcome back for more Paper Mario. In the last episode, we fell off the veranda and got the hammer, met Goomba and all these awesome people, and we recruited Goombario, which is the most useless party member in this game. Anyways, we got the power jump as well, and we're gonna equip that right now. Let's uh, talk to Goom Dad, whatever his name is. <laughs> Dad, did you hear I'm going out adventuring with Mario? I'll make you proud, Dad, I swear it. Just wait. Do your best, son. <laughs> if you could do a strong boy, I know you would be a great hope. What was that thing that M Ness's mom to say to Ness? Like, uh, fuck, what was it? Uh, something, something, thoughtful, strong boy. Something like that. It was adorable, right? Much more epic than this game. No, I'm kidding. This game's awesome, but you know what I mean. Earthbound in itself is pretty damn good. Like, it's fucking amazing. I, I think I played that game like about, like, fucking eight times, maybe. Maybe less, maybe. Nah, I see, I'm not even exaggerating. It probably was eight times. And that game is long, too. Like, fuck. Alright, let us read the sign then. Beware Goombas! Oh, fuck. Oh, great. More Goombas. Oh great, now we're gonna get our first fight. Now Gubario is gonna be in our first fight with us. Um, if this is me years in the future, uh, and you guys are watching this on a playlist, uh, you guys are probably hearing me about, uh, my second take in my second part. Yeah, I see he could do that. Uh, I was talking about my voice getting all fucked up and like, oh my god, I was really sick, like, this whole week I was damn, pretty damn sick, cause last week I tried to record part two, and, oof, god, like, the, the fact that, that it, the recording fucked up wasn't like awful like it happened but the icing on the cake was my throat just getting fucking terrible like holy crap like my voice was obviously strained afterwards like pretty much in the last minute of the video was getting pretty damn strained and afterwards my throat just like <clears throat> and afterwards i just had a really bad sore throat and um you know you know you ever had that feeling where like it hurts every time you swallow like that's pretty much what i had and yeah it was pretty much it was pretty bad when i whenever i had to go to sleep and stuff like that um, I would just have to use like some Advil or whatever. Yeah, it really does suck. But what can you do? I'm still like I'm still damn pretty damn sick right now. Like it's not too far in the future from that day. I'll, I'll be honest. Today is Friday. You know, it's actually uh, Valentine's Day weekend. So yeah, pretty nice. I'm about to go shopping soon. You know, because why not? Because I have to. So my parents forced me to. No, I'm joking. I volunteer because I'm a nice boy. I'm a good boy. <laughs> Anyways, wow, that sounds really uh, really weird. But yeah, uh, I'm still recovering. For some reason, I have like this fucking bloody ass nose situation going on and I don't know man I'm getting like some bloody ass mucus it sounds really disgusting but that's because it is so anyways uh, let's get in this fight um well now we have the spike Goomba and since Goombari can only head head headbutt people head bonk you can't really jump on him but he can jump on the Goomba so we are gonna do that a fortunate thing about the uh, the spike Goomba is that they do two damage so that kind of sucks and our health is looking pretty low we might as well use a mushroom right now uh, but we only have a fire flower, so we're gonna have to be careful. Bam. Goombario also has a tattle ability, which which pretty much tells you all their stats. And I don't know if I'm gonna edit in some of the stats of the enemies, because I guess that'd be kind of interesting for you guys to know, because I don't think I'm gonna tattle every enemy in the game. So yeah, that'd be kind of cool if I put some like little bios for the uh, enemies that we'll see. Yeah, pretty nice. Obviously, since this is an RPG, there will be... Well, there won't be grinding. I'm not gonna intentionally gonna grind, but obviously it's gonna happen. Uh, we get the mushroom right here. Very nice. We also got another badge, uh, what was it? We got the close call, which is, uh, when Mars is danger, sometimes they fail to, that, uh, fail to attack. And we are in danger right now, so this is actually pretty nice. So we're just gonna, oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, we're gonna use the close call, that way they can sometimes miss, but that's not the case. Anyways, let's go on the spring. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, hold right there. Yeah, yeah, you suspicious guy, don't move. What the fuck is talking to us? Oh, man, these guys are pretty big. Blue and red. Aha, you're Mario. I knew it. Can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot. This is a direct order from the Goomba King, that's right. Aw, oh, damn it! You know what? I forgot to make the timer. God damn it, you guys. I'm sorry. Again, with the unprofessionalness. This even happened like in my first, or not first, like second LP where it mattered to have a time limit because I don't know. I don't want to have these videos to be too long. But uh, let's restart this timer. Bam. I'm going to assume we've been at three minutes. Two minutes? Three minutes? Yeah. I'm sorry, but the only way by. By. Wait, what? The only way by is through the Goomba Bros. That's me, Red Goomba. And my brother, Blue. Okay. Let's get him! Oh yeah, let's do it, my red brother. Well, these guys are the first mini boss of the game, and being so, they're not that tough. Let us just do a power jump and see how badass it is. Bam! Three damage, why not? Oh, uh, let's tattle. Like, let's show it off, because why not? It says, this is Blue Goomba. He's the younger of the two notorious Goomba Bros. Max HP 6, attack power 1, defense 0. As you heard in this little speech, he's one of the Goomba's king men. He doesn't look that healthy, he's weaker than his brother. Well then. That's kind of fucked up to say. Mario, how would you like some of this? 
<laughs> Bam! One damage. Ooh, so scary. He also does one damage. That's really not scary. Oh, that's cool. I, I remembered. Yeah, that every time we uh, we tat on someone, we get to know their health and everything. So that's pretty interesting. I guess I kind of advise you to use Goombario often, so if you case you want to know their stats. But like I said, Goombario is not. Uh, he's not that good. Anyway, let's just kill him anyway, because whatever. I don't really want to abuse my power jump because. Well, actually, I kind of do because the last, the last. Oh wait, look at his tears. Or is that like boogers coming out of his nose? Whatever. The last screen, we actually had the uh, uh, heart thing, so I might as well just abuse the power jump. Kind of don't want to do the bio on the title because it's just a waste of time. Just whatever. Power jump, uh, bam! I really want to know when we learn to do our our double attack because this is really boring without it. Like that's the whole point of this game. That's what makes it different than most of the other RPGs. Oh, uh, let's use our hammer for ones. Like it's getting a little boring just using the same thing over and over. God damn! How long can these guys take these hits? Like God, Jesus! Oh, also, uh, I don't even think I explained the experience. Uh, we get, once we get 100 experience, we get to uh, increase another thing if we want HP, FP, or BP. Uh, each goal by 5, except for BP, which goes by 3 badge points, so that's pretty nice. And now these guys are going to go back, and they're crying. It's like, oh, I'm so sad. Anyways, let's go back and uh, heal ourselves. Alrighty, guys, now that we healed ourselves, we're going to go back and... Oh, there's a save block here. Okay, okay, okay. Alrighty. Well, you guys, if you guys don't know about the date, uh, well, actually, this is gonna be ma well, much before the upload date, but it is ha Halloween. What the fuck am I saying? It is, uh, oh wow, what a troll. It is, uh, Valentine's Day weekend, and, uh, I gotta say, if you guys don't have a loved one or a Valentine, it's all good, because you can love yourself. <laughs> wow, that was really corny. You can always, you know, fap. You know, I always, that's an, uh, that's an alternative, you know. <laughs> before my girlfriend, my left hand was my Valentine <laughs> every year. <laughs> This is really inappropriate. Okay, whatever. Mario beat us up. Wait, you fucking beat us up. But yeah, uh, so if you guys have a Valentine, obviously show them some love. In my opinion, I think Valentine's Day is gonna eh. I mean, you should show your love to your partner every day. Should be one specific day where you go try hard, like, <laughs> try hard, like, whatever. But yeah, like, it should be every day where you show affection to your love. And there's actually a pretty big tower. It reminds me of the towers from uh, Marlboro's U or Marlboro's Wii. You guys, know, you guys know what I'm talking about, the ones with Boom Boom, or the ones with the, uh, I guess the Kooplings. Uh, this guy with the weird looking stash. Oh, it's true, you made this far, I respect you for that. Fortunately, this is as far as you ever get. Because I, the great and powerful King Gooba, will see to see that you advance no farther. I don't know what's up with the jumpy text. Kind of annoying me, like, like kind of bothering my eyes a bit. Ha, huh, you're scared, alright? You wanna say you're sorry? Wow, the King Goomba is really huge. I'm sorry, I'm sure he's no match for you though, Mario. Let's get him. Ready to meet your wrath, Mario? You better be! I'm on top of the down of the down. No, I'm not gonna stop that. Watching this shit years from now, this will be very irrelevant, that song. <laughs> you guys get, ever get that reference? And these guys got their back. Mm -hmm. Leave it to me. <laughs> What's up with Mario's face there? He's like, mm -hmm. Hey, Mario, I think uh, we gotta take out the Goombros first. Don't you think? I actually. Actually, yeah, they must be pretty weak. You know what? I will, I will take your advice. I'm gonna take out the blue one first. Oh, bam. Because they have like half health now. Oh no, they have like a third of their health. Let's take out the blue one. Pretty damn annoying. Actually, you know what? I should use the fire flower, because why not? Damn it, what a waste of a turn. Ow. You fucking dick. I don't think the King Goomba ever comes back in the other game either, so uh, let's just use our fire flower, you know? Save some time and some health, because... I don't know, the red Goomba's kind of annoying. But he should be taken care of pretty quickly. Yes. Okay, nice. Don't know how much his health is, but I don't really feel like bother checking. Should be over pretty quickly though. Uh, I'll do a couple power jumps and it should be fine. I think we'll get like probably our uh, full XP all the way up to 100. Yeah. I think they coined out the idea from uh, Mario World how you can get like 100 points and you get a little bonus game, which is pretty nice. But yeah, because obviously you know most RPGs they don't really go up to 100 XP. You go to a certain amount that they need because you know that's how they work. More, more experience, more levels. Yeah. Oh damn it, we didn't go all the way. That's kind of lame, man. We already used all our FP. Oh, what? How could I lose? And that's it, they just leave. And Gubar is like, fuck yeah, we did it! Cool! Victory! Okay. Now let's. Oh, okay. Well, what happened? Red Goomba, you're positive that you hit the switch wall, right? Of course, King Goomba. I hid in the grass outside the fortress. <laughs> oh my god, can they talk any louder? I don't know why the text is like staticky, though. It's kind of weird. Alright, now we get the switch. Bam! Now he comes up. Oh, Mario, good fight and all that. I must warn you, however. 
If you happen to find a strange suit somewhere, pray, pray, don't switch it, please. <laughs> Wait, you already pressed it? Ah, oh, fuck. And now he's screwed. Oh no! <laughs> I love how the music is still happy and whatever. I gotta say though, the, uh, the music in this game is also pretty damn good. There's one level in particular I'm just like, oh, it's so orgasmic. But that's gonna be a long ass time from now. <laughs> right now we're still in the prologue as we saw in the beginning of part two. Prologue will be on for a while until we get to uh, a certain place, which will pretty much inter introduce every single chapter. I usually like to like uh, title my videos according to like chapter one, part one, whatever. But eh, for this LP, I don't really care. Anyways, uh, yeah. So now we killed them. <laughs> or there's no death in the town. What am I saying? Uh, let's just keep going to the rat. Yeah. And I think we're pretty much done with this section of the game. And I think now. Oh wait, Cammy. Cammy Koopa. She's like chewing on gum right now. Oh, okay. She pretty much saw what happened. She's like, shit, Mario's actually pretty strong. All right. Oh, great. Let's uh, let's actually continue that save in case the recording gets fucked up. Yeah. All right. So what's going on? Ooh. Now we're back in Peach's castle, and Kami Koopa's coming back with the information again. I do not know how these guys even breathe in the air. It's fucking. I don't know. But whatever. Or I can't really hear the music right now. Oh, well, I can hear Bowser's theme. And then Kami. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. I report your evilness. Bowser defeated the Goomba King. He's headed for Tone Town now. Bowser, like, what? What? Unbelievable! What was Goomba King thinking? I used a star on to make him a king because he begged me. Or, did I say bag or beg? I don't know, I read it kind of quickly. Mario whips him so easily, what a wimp! Uh, Kami Koopa, are you sh You are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your, vil your vileness. Try to be calm. Goomba King was small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. Wow. Way to put down your, uh, your dudes. It doesn't matter because while you hold the star on, you're definitely invincible. You could be Mario with one claw tied behind your back. One claw? What? So it's like one finger, pretty much? Yeah, uh, whatever. By the way, Kami Koopa, those star spirits we've captured don't have any way of getting Mario their power, do they? Or shadowing much? Please don't worry yourself, each is held separately. Yeah, because there's no way Mario can go to each world and pick these up, because Mario's never done anything like that before. Ugh. Hmm. Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? Isn't that the one in Koopa Bros Fortress, right? Mario can somehow reach there, can the Koopa Bros defeat him? Keep Bowser, you mustn't worry. Who said that? Hiya! Oh, great, these guys are pretty damn awesome. Again, they don't ever introduce these guys again, but I, I see really like them. Here comes the Koopa Bros. Uh huh. Oh yeah, we're the coolest of cool. Bowser's like, the fuck? <laughs> these guys are gonna defeat Mario. Uh huh. They just look like normal Koopas. Psha! Get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total wimp, wimpola. Wow. And we're nothing like him. Let's see what we got going on in the power of teamwork. Together we could push. We could put the hurt of Mario in second flat. You know what, uh, these guys are actually, uh, I was watching this series, not really a series, but I was like watching one thing called Super Mario X or something like that, I guess it was like a Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z kind of thing, but, or no, it was called Mario Bros Z, Z or X, I don't really remember what it was, but I remember they introduced these guys again during a fight against Mario and Luigi, and it was pretty much, it was pretty funny, because the way they introduced them was like, that spirit squad from WWE, and apparently have a secret move, <laughs> but I was just like, getting hard over here. But, uh, yeah, if you guys know the Spirit Squad, uh, maybe I'll put like, a little clip, hopefully I don't get like copyright. You know what? No, I I'm not going to risk it, fuck that. And they use the Spirit Squad clip to introduce the Koopas, and if you guys know WWE, it's pretty funny. And speaking of the Spirit Squad, I've never heard from those guys in like, six years, but I haven't watched WWE since like, 2010, so I don't really give a shit, but whatever. Uh, anyways, there's some story going on, I'm not even reading it, but it's pretty simple, they're pretty much going to hide... In one place with the uh, card, and they had to go back to the fortress because obviously it's not guarded. And yeah, so now that we're done with that, uh, oh great, we're not in Toad Town yet. I thought we were gonna be there, and I was I was gonna close the episode there, but I guess we're not. Okay, that's fine too. Let's get this item, and then I guess we'll close the episode because I think we're at the end. And let's get a sleepy sheet that will make every enemy uh, might rest a bit. Sure, yeah. There's a spring up here. Let's do that. I think when I was younger, I never even noticed this, and I didn't give a shit until later. Forgot what this gives us. And it's a hammer throw! Oh, yeah, that is nice actually. It'll throw like hammers up in the air in case there's like a spiky enemy up in the air or they're too high to reach. Anyways, guys, we're at the end of the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you can, leave a like. And we're finally in Toe Town! Alright. Mario, I'm so glad you're okay. Blah, blah, blah. I really know what you can do about all this. Savor your highness. Save her highness. Yes. 
Alright guys, now we're done with that. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys later.